Hey guys, I want to show you the easiest way to start up the fire in this Jikoka stove. First of all, you bring out this ashtray down, put the small pieces of cotton in it, arrange it properly, and put a little kerosene. Drop a little present to help the pattern to light and you put it back and make a space where the air will enter. Next thing is to put charcoal in the charcoal chamber. A small small pieces of charcoal is preferable. You make a space where you can put your matches stick down the ashtray. That is what I'm doing now to light up the cotton that is in the ashtray. You can see it now. The fire is on. At this point, you still need to add more charcoal. So this is it. At this stage, you can see the charcoal is already burning. It has turned to red and it's ready. Your stove is ready to use and cook food. Like I told you earlier, can use this place to control the quantity of air that enters and the amount of heat it produces. The more you open it, the more air that will enter and the more heat. Close it more like this to produce less heat and the lesser air will enter. And one more important thing is that some are afraid of breakage but i assure you there is no way that this thing can break because it is made of it is made of steel the type of iron that they use in producing pressure pots you know that pressure pots produces much heat and this one is the same thing too you know some stoves are made of clay but this one is not among them. There is nothing that can break here, nothing that can spoil as we are seeing it. And you can also add more charcoal depending on the quantity of food you are cooking. Then after, when your food is done, don't pour water inside the stove. Instead, you remove the charcoal Pour it on the ground and now quench the fire on the ground. Now pour the water on the ground. But if you don't have that time, you can also close everything tightly like this and the fire will die off. 